Hello everyone. My name is Sukhania Funtam Baker and I am a postdoctoral fellow at the Department of Genetics, Harvard Medical School and the Wyss Institute at Harvard University. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share an exciting research from our group and a rather different application of the Oxford Nanopore Technologies MinION for its use in synthetic biology. Today, I will talk about a biochemical DNA nanoscope that uses an imaging by sequencing technique with nanometer accuracy. The study of biological systems at the nanoscale level is not only interesting, but also rather complex, requiring sophisticated instruments for visualization. However, there is a trade-off between resolution and the number of targets that can be visualized. Here, we present a novel biochemical technique we term the DNA nanoscope that not only identifies many targets, but also provides a nanoscale resolution spatial map of the targets. The basis of the DNA nanoscope is the primer exchange reaction, PER, that enables in situ autonomous synthesis of single stranded DNA. Here, as shown in this video, short hairpins repeatedly add the stem encoded sequence with the help of a polymerase and DNTPs. At the heart of the DNA nanoscope is a molecular ruler that measures the distance between two targets labeled with DNA handles and that have recording primers hybridized to them. The PER reaction takes place between the primers. The arms randomly meet, hybridize, and extend on one another, creating a distance record. These records are ultimately displaced and released into solution. First, we calibrated the ruler on a DNA origami, which is a very well characterized nanoscale breadboard. Molecular ruler recordings were made on known distance targets. Records were collected, amplified by PCR, and run on a gel. The peak of the distance records were plotted and fit to give a calibration function. While running the DNA records on a gel gives us the length, it certainly does not give us its identity. We hence use barcodes and do massively parallel next-gen sequencing using the MinION from Oxford Nanopore Technologies. Here, the records range from as short as 100 base pairs up to 1000 base pairs, which is unlike the long range reads that usually is what the MinION nanopore sequencing is used for. Our imaging by sequencing by the DNA nanoscope works by first tagging targets with barcoded handles, sequencing the barcoded records with the MinION, and reconstructing a molecular resolution map. We repeated the calibration experiment by sequencing the records this time and got excellent correlation between the gel and the sequencing results. From here on, we made various nanoscale patterns by first creating a design on a DNA origami, tagging them with unique DNA barcodes, measuring the pairwise distance records by MinION sequencing, and reconstructing the pattern with molecular resolution. Shown here on the left is an example of a smiley pattern designed on a DNA origami, and on the right are the results we got after sequencing and reconstructing the image. Superimposing the two images gave a root mean square deviation of 1.4 nanometer. We were able to use the DNA nanoscope and reconstruct many different patterns as shown here with very high accuracy and about 2 nanometer average error. We were also able to encode color information in auxiliary sequence tags and generate full color reconstructions of two different patterns, a color wheel and a holiday tree as shown here. I would like to end my talk by acknowledging my co-authors, especially Dr. Nikhil Gopal Krishnan, who is the lead author on this project, and Dr. Tom Schaus, who is a staff scientist at the Wies. I would also like to thank my postdoc mentors, Dr. George Church and Dr. Pangyan for their constant support. Thank you for your attention.